Jeff Charles back in the kitchen, and you're watching everything sweet. What a strange smell in the air. I think I'm smelling holiday. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. The sooner you bet your eye quickly, you're going to be there, okay? And that's what we're going to start doing. We're going to start making dishes that you can make for the holidays. I know you're looking, okay? Because I'm looking too, okay? Now, we're going to make German chocolate cake. This is the old-fashioned German chocolate way grandma used to do it, her mom used to do it. And this is what you're going to need to get it up and running, okay? We got one cup of buttermilk. Two cups of granulated sugar. We got three cups of all perfect flour. Our baking soda and baking powder in salt is in our flour. Okay. We got four eggs and we got one cup of butter. Now you're gonna need this. You definitely gonna need this for your chocolate, okay? This is four ounces. This box right here is this what we got chopped up. And we're gonna mix that in a half a cup of hot water, okay? All right. Now we're going to the mix bowl. And the flavor you're going to need is vanilla flavor. We ain't got that out here, but we will be using vanilla flavor. We got eight inch pans here. We got three of them. We're going to get three layers out of that batch, okay? Our oven's on 350, and this should take anywhere from 35, 40 minutes to bake, okay? All right, we're going to the big mix mixing bowl and get it up and running. The water is going in now. Now we dare to try to get the room temperature. Definitely need to be room temperature. If you got a room temperature, you probably gonna have some problems. If you like me, you don't like problems. Okay? But make sure all your dairy products, your butter, your eggs, and your buttermilk is at room temperature before you even talk about getting started. I'm gonna beat that for about a minute. Alright, two cups of sugar is going in now. Gonna start that in first year. We are going to give you one that's come combined. We are mixing anywhere from two to three minutes in fifth year. Okay? That we get that creamy uh, consistency that we're looking for. This is our four ounces of chocolate. We're going to go ahead and put it in a two cup bowl here. We got a half a cup of hot water. Put that in. Now, hot water is good may up that. should get it. Cream is consistency, okay? That's what the hot water is for. To may up your chocolate. Okay? About two minutes in, we're going to straight down. And to our sugar and butter, we're going to add a half a cup of chocolate to it. Right on in there. Started back in first gear. Straight down our batter dash. And also our bowl. Gonna get that chocolate mixed into our cream butter mix. Started back in third year. Second gear, we're gonna start adding the eggs. We got four. We're gonna add them one at a time. Mix that and pack them back. Now we got three eggs in. We're gonna straight down before we add our last egg. We want a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that is that. We're going in. We got three cups, so we're going to add a cup and three different bases, okay? We're going to mix that and tie combine. Now we're going to add our flour and rotate our butter milk, okay? Now 
one third of our buttermilk going in. And mix that entire combined. Break down. And make sure we're getting all that flour in our main batch. Okay. that entire combined for a year. Do our buttermilk going in? I'm going to mix that entire combined for a year. We're going to straight down. Put our flour on the side. If you see it on the side, we know it's on the bottom too. Okay? Buttermilk is going in. Our flour, flour, our last of our flour is going in now. We're going to mix that and tie combine. Then we'll take it to the table. First gear. Alright, we took a bad dash out. We're going to hand mix it one more time on the bottom it and on the sides. Now we got a two cup measuring cup. We're going to go ahead and put one cup and a half cups. We got a bit more here. We're going to divide that amongst the three pans, okay? Middle there. Middle there. Middle there. You get a little more. You get a little more. You get a little more. Smooth them out. Okay. Shake them out a little bit. A little nice stuff. Shake them on the table. Going in at 350, 35, 40 minutes. Okay, just see y'all back in about 35 minutes. Turn to stay in about 35 minutes.
Yeah, you can see we taking them out. All right, we're gonna let them cool for about six hours. We're gonna throw them in the freezer, let them chill on down. Then we'll come back and we'll ice this Mississippi German chocolate pound cake. Y'all don't wanna miss it now. Come on back. Y'all doing? Chef Charles back in the kitchen and we are making German chocolate ice, okay? And this is what you're gonna need to get it up and run. We got two cups of granulated sugar. Uh, we got two cups of evaporated milk. We got two cups of pecan. We got six egg yolks. We got two sticks of butter, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and get this up and running. <clears throat> we're gonna start by putting our butter in first. And I part it on medium heat. Just want to get this butter melted. And we are making a double batch. So if we're making a German chocolate cake, then we're going to come back and make a German chocolate brownie. Okay? So we're going to get all our German chocolate made up in the first batch. Now you can cut this in half, let's check out a German chocolate cake. <clears throat> Just half and everything we got here, okay? Gonna let that butter, butter melt, then we'll add our sugar to it, then we'll add our evaporated milk and our eggs. Then it's just a process of stirring it and make sure when it don't stick or burn, okay? This whole process should take about 12 minutes, okay? So y'all stay with us. Our buttermilk, our sugar is going in. We got two cups of sugar. I'm gonna mix that around just a little bit, get it in the butter. Get it already introduced to one another. All right, our two cups of our bread milk is going in now. Mixed in. As soon as you get that mixed in, you want to go ahead and add your eggs. Okay? And I, and I want your liquid to get too hot where it will cook your eggs. Okay? We're going to mix our eggs up just a little bit. And go ahead and add those in. Comfortably stirring. Right now we still on medium heat, okay? And you want to stay here with it now. You don't want to leave it. But what you don't want to happen is your liquid to start burning, okay? With all that sugar and milk, it will burn if you don't stay here and stir it, okay? All right, we're going to stay here and stir it. And we'll bring it back when we get to the side of sticking we need, okay? All right, we've been here about three, four minutes, and as you can see, it's starting to thick up. So we're going to come to stay here and stir it, and once we get to the thick desire, then we'll bring y'all back, okay? See, we're starting to bubble there. All right, we're going to put a couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract in. that in. And we're going to put just a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. I'm going to pour over the teaspoon. See how thick that is? And at this point, we can cut it off. I'm going to cook mine for just a couple more minutes. We 
still don't need your meat. Heat off. And we're going to put our pecans in. And our coconut. Okay, as it gets cool, it's going to stick a stick in that mortar, okay? All right, that's our German jock and frosting. I don't talk with nobody. We're going to be back to make our German cotton layers, okay? How y'all doing? Man, we making old-fashioned, Mississippi-style German chocolate. We got our German chocolate ice made here. We got our cake layer made here. So all to do now is just to assemble, okay? We're going to take a little German chocolate. Put it next to that thing like that. Now, when you're storing your cake, you want the flat side down. Press down a little bit on it. Jump chuck and go in the center here. Now, you can put a little lid as much in there you want. This jam chocolate, baby. This old fashioned time, baby. This is what your granny used to make. Wasn't nothing fancy. She didn't have to go to school to learn it. But my God. <laughs> that was the best jam chocolate you probably ever put your mouth on. Okay. I'm going to take this one. Flat side down. Press down. Jam chocolate between it. Hmm, man, I smell that smell of holiday up in here. Oh, I need to go shopping. See, y'all be waiting for the last minute to do shop. No, baby. I start at the beginning of, of October. Do I get in my car and go different store? No. If I'm happen to be in that neighborhood, then I'll stop. But I'm not making no special trip. I shop online, baby. It's cheaper and it's faster. Okay, the top layer, you're not going to turn like this. You want to turn this side. You want the flat side up, okay? So you want to turn that up. Man, look at that thing. Press it down. Alright, put a little icing on top of that thing. And we got, we building a skyscraper here, baby. But man, this is something going to be delicious. I can see Thanksgiving down. You get through with that turkey or ham or whatever you decide to have. And you know you're trying to eat kind of fast, because you know, as soon as you get through that, dessert is coming. <laughs> oh, damn, listen. Dessert is coming. And you're going to have a variety of things. Some old special and some new something that you found, okay? Hopefully you got off everything sweet. Oh, they're going to act aside this thing now. Now, some people don't act aside. Yeah, they just put three layers on there. You can have the cake showing and the uh, icing showing. But I don't like that reputation. Anyway, your layers get dry. After a period of time, your layers get dry on that side. You 
be nice. So, you know, you can do it like you want to. But it looks kind of good when you're taking a picture of it. You know, it's, ooh, that's something different. But two or three days, them bagels will dry out. Okay? Now, hopefully that cake will be gone in two or three days. All right, we're going to change the ice. We have a little bit more to go. So if we finish icing it up, then we'll bring you right back. 90% of the ice is done already, okay? Okay, we're going to finish it off. See how the top is right there? All we do is bring that in. Yeah. Bring it in like that. Why we bring it in? We're gonna kind of smooth it off just a little bit. Then you take the spatula and go around the top of it like that. Now y'all making this cake not to sell, so you know y'all do not have to do all what I'm doing. Once you get that icing on there, you're good to go. Okay. But you know, if you're trying to sell it, then you want to present your best work out there. Okay. Okay, man. There's your old fashioned jump choppers triple E, okay? Now, ain't but one thing left to do. Y'all forget to put that here. We're going to give it a taste test. Y'all stay with us. We'll be right back. Now, we got a whole pecan. This is optional, okay? You're going to have to do this if you don't want to. Okay, I'm just going to put whole pecan on the top. Your cake is ready to eat without these guns on top of that. You ready to cut into that thing. You know, we everything sweet, so, you know, we don't always do something a little different. But, you know, this is entirely optional. And you say, I don't want no pecans on mine, then don't put no pecans on this, but do not put a pecan on that thing. This thing ready to eat. Man, we ready to do some things. Uh, hmm. Turn that the right way. Press them down just a little bit. Now we got a few more. We're going to put a couple in the center here. Now you can put a maraschino chair in there if you so desire. We're just going to put a few pecans in there. Basically, we're ready to eat. All right. We're going to come back. Y'all stay with it. Don't leave. Okay, it's taste test time. And this is old-fashioned Mississippi buttermilk German chocolate. Let's go. Go. Oh, him, mercy, Lord, bless the children, bless the old man, look at, look at, I don't want to tell y'all, 
man, the German chocolate is so marsh. And it, it just bursts. Listen, let me do one more time. Listen, I got to recover myself. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I have recovered. O-M-G. Call somebody. Call somebody. Tell them Chef Charles has made an old-fashioned Mississippi buttermilk German chocolate pound cake. And that thing is so good. It'll make you slap anybody that need you. Okay. No. Listen, we'll be back next week. We're trying to get you ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Now, next week, we're going to make old fashioned potato salad. You you know, a lot of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. When I say old fashioned, the way your mom and your grandmama and her mama used to do it, you know, you boil them potato, and we use them sweet dill pickles. Oh, come on now. Y'all make sure y'all tune in for that. Day. Old fashioned potato salad, okay? But get to this German chocolate buttermilk Mississippi style German chocolate cake. Get to it. O M G. Oh my God. <laughs> you gonna fall into a trance when you take your face back, okay? All right. Now, I did all I can do for this German chocolate cake. <sighs> oh, man, buddy. Listen, you know, we try to keep politics out, but make sure y'all get out and vote, okay? I don't care who you vote for, just get out and do it, okay? Uh, Chef Charles gonna sign off. Wishing y'all health and wealth. Live long and prosper. And we'll see y'all next week. Chef Charles, we out of here. <laughs>